Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you the difference between set and change box. So I'm gonna give you an example using the color effect. So if I connect this here and say, set the color effect to 25, when I click on Scratch Cat, it sets the cat to like a neon green color. However, if I were to change the color and click on Scratch Cat, it's going to make it so that every time I click, it's a different color. You can do this by negative 25, or you can do this by positive 25. It's still going to change it the same way. So set will always stay the same number every single time you run this block, whereas change will add to or subtract this number to whatever effect that uh, you are using in your code. So set is great if you're going to want to say, I want Scratch Cat to start at this color. And then change is great if you want to be able to make it so that Scratch Cat changes to different colors. So for example, if Scratch Cat gets a power up, maybe you want uh, the cat to change colors. And if you want to reset it to the original color, you would use set again. Okay, so have some fun experimenting with differences between set and change blocks. And just know that this one will stay the same and this one is going to change, which is why it's called change. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.